Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel, I do blow. You can watch it for strong way foundation of information technology and promises you to give you concept and knowledge in computer. Keep watching for latest videos. Time to time I will come for with the latest video in computer. When the tags are embedded, that is when you start a tag within another tag, you need to close the inner tag before closing the outer tag. For example, P B Hello slash P slash B incorrect P B Hello slash B slash P correct tag name should not contain spaces for example writing body as body is incorrect there should be no space between smaller and greater in the tag I'm going to discuss HTML document structure the general structure of an HTML document has two sec section head and body head section the head section provides general information about the document a example the title defines a title of the page on the browser's title bar let's know the fact the meta tag which is placed inside the head element is used to specify page description keywords and another metadata information about data of the HTML document body section the body section contains the text which gets displayed on the web page along with other tags and attributes it includes text graphics and another HTML documents that provides control and formatting to a page like fonts paragraphs list and another elements let us discuss the basic structure of an HTML document the HTML document starts with HTML tag and ends with slash HTML tag everything is written within these tags if the commands are not enclosed in tags then a web browser will assume the commands as text the head tag is the HTML document header it lie just below the HTML tag it contains information that is important about the web page but you can see it in the browser window the head contains no text within itself that the title tag to be given within the head tag it contains the title of the document the title is displayed on the title bar at the top of the browser window and not inside the window itself the title should be short and include less than 64 characters the body tag contains the contents of your documents which gets displayed on the web page to your browser window in the body tag we use number of formatting elements images headings list and hypertext link to enhance the appearance of a web page there are two basic categories of HTML elements used in the body tag block level element text level elements a block level element takes up the full width of available and by default begins on the new line these elements in due tags like paragraph P heading H1 horizontal rule HR center center text level elements are used to mark up bits of text it does not start on a new line and only takes up as much width as necessary these include tags like bold b italic i line break br okay now note that the main function difference between these two types of, is that block level elements do cause line breaks whereas text level elements do not cause line breaks 
in the coming section we will discuss some of the common HTML elements that are used frequently in an HTML document. Now I am going to discuss about heading. This tag is used to define different heading levels in an HTML document. It is basically used to emphasize the text. There are six heading levels H1 to H6. The H1 heading style displays the text in the largest size and is mainly used for main headings. The lower level are used for subheadings and less important things. It is not essential to use these heading levels in hierarchy. These heading tags are written within the body tag of the document. Okay, now I am going to discuss paragraph. To display a long piece of text on a web browser, paragraph elements P is used which marks a block of text as a paragraph. To mark the end of a paragraph slash P elements is used. When you start another paragraph, the web browser will leave one line between the two paragraphs. Okay, now I'm going to discuss line break element. Line break element splits the line and displays the text on a new line. It is like an enter key on a keyboard which takes the cursor on the next line towards the left margin on the screen. Line breaks are good for ending lines after short pieces of information such as address. You can introduce a line break into your HTML document with the help of BR tag. This element has no end tag. Okay, now talk about horizontal rules. It is used as a separator between blocks of text. The HR element draws a horizontal line across the page. It is an empty element and has no end tag. Type HR where you want to insert a horizontal lines in between the text. Now I'm going to talk about comment tag. So far you have seen the that wherever, wherever you are right inside body tag gets display in the web browser. Sometimes you want to write notes for yourself in an HTML document but do not want them to be displayed in the browser window. In such a case you need to use the comment tag. To comment the text use this way exclamatory dash learning HTML is great fun. Okay now let us talk about bold tag. The bold tag is used when you need to emphasize the text. Type B before typing the text that you want to display as bold and type slash B after the text. For example, B kids pool dash a computer course slash B. Okay, now I'm going to talk about italic tag. To draw the attention of a reader on any important information, italics elements is used. This element marks up the text in the italic style. Type I tag before typing the text that you want to display in italics and type slash I tag after the text. For example, I organized by Kips Learning Private Limited slash. Thank you. Thanks for watching our videos. And if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you. Thank you.